In this video, we're looking at how to use the table or the graphing function on our new Casio calculator in order to find the points from a quadratic equation, which we can then plot onto a graph. So it's a quicker way of finding those coordinates. So we're going to have a look at an example here now of a quadratic, but the steps are the same, whether it's for a linear, a quadratic, a cubic, whatever it may be. So let's look at an example here. So in our example, it wants us to draw the graph for the function f of x is equal to 2x squared minus x minus 3 in the domain minus 2 is to 3. In the domain is basically the values for my x, my inputs. So between minus 2 and 3, as you can see in the table here, is minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. Now you can go up in halves or decimals if you want to be very precise, but you can make that setting on your calculator here. So what we have to do is, first of all on our calculator, we have to type in this function 2x squared minus x minus 3. So in order to do that, we press the menu key and then we press 3 for table. Up comes the symbol f of x. Now it doesn't matter if your function is called f of x, f of t, g of x, whatever it may be, they're just different names for a function. And on the calculator, they're using x, but your question might have a t in it for time or n or something like that. But it doesn't matter. The process is the same. So in order to write in the function 2x squared minus x minus 3, I'm going to type in 2, and then I need to find the x. The x is the red x above the bracket symbol. So in order to find that x, you need to press the alpha key. Once you press alpha, press the bracket, and you should see x appear. Then hit the square key. Now, again, if you're looking for a cubic, you use the button to the right of it, and you input the power yourself. Then I go minus x, so minus, and I need to find that x again, so I press alpha bracket. And then negative 3, so minus 3. I then press equals in order to save that function now on my calculator. Up comes another function, g of x. I only have one function, I don't need a second function, so I'm going to press equals. If you have a second function, input it here now. So up comes my table range. Where do I want my data to go to and from? So I want to start at negative 2, so I just type in minus 2 here. I press my equals key and it'll bring me then to end. Where do I want to end? I want to end when x is 3. I press my equals and it brings me down to step. The step is how it increases. So I want it to go up in units of 1, so I'm going to keep it as 1. But like I said, if you want to go up in decimals, smaller digits, say for instance 0.1, you type in 0.1 as your step. But I'm happy to go up in units of 1. I then press equals and up appears my table. So here you can see all of my answers. So my input of negative 2 corresponds to an output or a y value as 7. Minus 1 corresponds to 0. 0 corresponds to minus 3. 1 corresponds to minus 2. You can see there that I'm missing the final two items. So what I need to do here is just arrow down on my keypad and there's my one, my two and my three, my final input. So three is corresponding to a value of 12. So I'm just going to write them now into my table. So there you can see the values of x are minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three. And my values for y are seven, zero, minus three, minus two, three and 12. So I'm going to put away my calculator now and from my table, I'm going to write down my coordinates, my points or my couples. So my points are minus two, seven. My second point is minus one, zero. My third point is zero minus three. My next point is one, negative two, two, three, and three, 12. And they would be the six points that I would then sketch onto my coordinate graph in order to plot uh, that function. And that's how to use our calculator uh, using the table or the graphing function in order to find our points. Hope it helps. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.